2020 of the government shutdown and one local organization is feeling the pinch. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake shows us what's on hold for the historical society. All of this is our history here in Kansas City, and so we want it to be around for another 100 years. But the government shutdown is affecting the Jackson County Historical Society in ways that they just didn't anticipate. We house and preserve uh, all manner of documents pertaining to Jackson County history. We have abstracts, land deeds, um, diaries, Bibles, you name it. Preserving this history is vital. The archives at the Jackson County Historical Society are packed with these documents and nowhere to catalog them. People always ask for blueprints and right now they're inaccessible because we, we know what we have, but we can't let researchers come look at them until we've properly preserved and cataloged um, and put them away. A $10,000 grant would help the Historical Society out with a new filing system, but they're currently at a standstill due to the government shutdown. They also need a $5,000 grant to help them update the exhibits at the 1859 Jail Museum in Independence Square. It will affect our event planning for sure because that's most of our grant money comes for um, programming, educational events, and things like that. So it will affect what we can go out and do in the community. And these are all the blueprints. Around 300 people a year come to the Historical Society to do research. Executive Director Caitlin Eckard says more people are becoming interested in the abundance of history in Jackson County. And while the shutdown may not close the Historical Society's doors, it's another facet of our community, Eckard says, most people don't think about. It's honestly priceless. Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.